<laughs> Good boy. So today we're out on the lake. It's my first time on this lake. We are targeting perch. It's my first time also targeting perch. Marcus was out here last week while I was at work and had really good luck. In fact, he was late to pick me up. So I wanted to come out and see what it was all about. If you stick around till the end of the video, we'll show you how to cook perch. It's a pretty delicate fish. Also one of the best eating freshwater fish. And we'll do a nice little fish fry for you. And yeah, stay tuned. perch baby my first fish of the day my first fish on this lake i'm gonna keep this guy oh yeah I'll let's keep that guy it's a really nice one to keep thank you sir you're gonna taste real nice what do i do with it uh bucket <laughs> for now and then Okay guys, so we've been here for about 15 minutes. We've already caught two big jumbo perch. Biggest perch I've ever caught. Marcus caught one, I caught the other. I don't know which is which, but uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I think Marcus wants to measure them. Measure. Do a quick measure here. Tor, watch out. So just past 12 on this one. And then this guy on the other side. Does it matter what side you go from? Usually you go the way, but and this one is around the same, maybe a little bit bigger. These guys are 12 and a half, almost 13 inches. Wow. Okay, good start. Let's right get back on. in there. There's a big one down there. You got it. Is that the hook? <laughs> you got it. You got it. What? You got it. Oh my god. Let's swim the other way with it. Another keeper. Makes the uh, other ones look uh, right in the middle, gas. Yeah. There you go. All right, another keeper. Good. Okay, my minnow's still on there. All right, little one, little-ish one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that little. In the bucket he goes. Slimy. Still got a minnow. Okay, I'm gonna go with that and grab those things. I'm also gonna go say hi to Kelly. Hey, take the dog with you. Go to daddy. Maybe he'll poop. Do the hook myself this time. <laughs> you know, I need your help. You got another one. <laughs> nice. He's a keeper. Oh my lord. These trouble hooks are not my friend. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing there? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm Kelly. Cassidy. Oh yeah, these are nice, eh? Good job. Thank you. Like, this is still a keeper, That's right? Like... <laughs> so my mouth got it in the eye. Did you measure them up? Oh. Yeah, they're 12 or almost 13. It's not. <laughs> Dude, that's like fat for a 13. Oh, 
Good one. Take my keeper. Gosh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Help. Another big one. Really having trouble unhooking them myself today. <laughs> trouble hooks are getting me, but another one. Do you still want this thing? I mean, it's like killing it for you. I don't mind taking it off. It's, since you're the star of the video. <laughs> this nut is gonna be mangled. Oh, that's a good one. You got a good one? Can you get down there really quick? Don't even put a minute on. Just, just keep the school here and then we'll. Okay, okay, okay. Another good, good fish here. <laughs> the pile. Oh, that might be a, uh, what the heck, what the heck, the heck? <laughs> look at the belly on this thing, holy macaroni, that's my favorite thing to say, holy mackerel, holy perch. <laughs> Measure. This doesn't look much bigger than the other ones, actually. It's not. It's it doesn't look it's that just much bigger. Flat. It's just that we haven't seen one that big oh since my God. since the beginning. Wow. Is that a good one? Uh, it doesn't feel as good as that one. But Looks it like a keeper, though. Pretty good. Yeah, another keeper. This is good timing. Oh no! Did it just break off? It stole my minnow. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, good one. Good one. Good one. Now. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my first big one without Marcus. All right. All right, buddy. Let's go. You like barely are hooked too. Holy. Guys, look at my first big one. <laughs> All by myself. This is like probably another 12 inch, right? In the bucket you go. And I still got my minnow. Are you getting bites over there? Okay. <laughs> one dink and one big one. Oh my god, this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Were they both on that? Um, or was it any This is rod? a new one. Oh, okay. This is a new minnow. Anything one on my rod? Or? No. Yeah. Then I you touched it? a couple bites on yours. Yeah, and even that one I almost lost because my minnow was swimming around. Oh my god. And it was, I could see it like under the ice. And, but I did it. I was on the leash and put it in my pocket. A good one? Yeah, feels good. <laughs> I literally just had to look away for a second and then. Keeper. Yeah, jeez. Not, not like the best. No, but no, but it's pretty good. Sorry, it's in Oh, they're all coming up to me. There we go. I saw that. Still not 
huge. No. Of course I didn't. Double header, but mine's just a baby. Mine's just a baby. There's mine. I think you lost. I think I took your minnow. What? I know you have it. <laughs> Keeper? Yes. Let's take. Let's put that one back. <laughs> the last one you caught. That's more of a keeper size. Oh no, it's not the one you want. Two better ones there with you. <laughs> that was like it feels these. Eh. There's two bigger ones there. I don't know if it's actually that big, but I think it's keeper. <laughs> yeah, keeper. Keeper. How is this minnow Dude. still kicking? Okay, this is this is Cass's <laughs> day versus my day. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. So we've had a pretty good day fishing. We're gonna head back shortly. We're going to show you how to cook up the perfect perch fish fry. And I've also got a really good tartar sauce recipe that I've kind of been tweaking and I think I've got it great. So I'll show you how to make that as well. This is our little haul from today. We've got, I don't know, we haven't counted in a while, but probably 16 or 17 fish um, that we got to go back and fillet. So we'll see you there. All right, guys, we're back at home. We had an amazing time in the lake. Of course, Cass outfished me again. But now we have a cooler full of perch that we're gonna have to clean up. Okay, so we have a pretty good haul here. Some pretty nice ones. And I'm gonna show you guys the way that I like to clean perch. There's a lot of different ways you can do them, but this is just my personal preference. So when I start off doing perch, I do one slit right behind the gills, following the gill plate. Usually I'll do both sides. And then I like to go down the back and follow that spine all the way back. So these top fins, you want to get as close to them as possible without actually getting those fins in your fillet. And whenever you guys are cleaning fish, it's better to do it in as little motion as possible. So try to not ch be choppy and just go smooth all the way through. So once I do that cut, I like to go back around and make sure I'm getting that fillet off and make sure we're getting no bones in our fillet. So with these smaller fish, we're gonna have to go around the, around the rib cage and then down. Okay, so I have one fillet there. I'm gonna actually keep that on until I finish the other side. So on the other side, same thing. I'm gonna go right along the spine and as few cuts as possible. Okay, once I get to around here, it's where the rib cage ends. You can kind of feel it. And I'm gonna go all the way through and just go one smooth motion down. Okay. Same thing, I'm feeling for bones here. Try not to lose any meat if possible. Okay, going around the rib cage and then back down. Okay, but all I'm gonna do is go along these fins, one, two. So two fillets there now. To the actual fillets off the skin, what I do is I go and press down. So my blade is gonna be slightly at a down angle. Once I can get a grip on the skin, I'm just gonna start pulling the skin just like that and keeping pressure down on my knife. So now we have a little fillet we don't really need this part. So now we have one fillet. Sweet. It's going in the water. And then this one, same deal. 
I'm going along. And then once I can get a grip on the skin, I'm just using the pulling motion to get it off. Okay, and then another boneless fillet. I always like to check to make sure there's no bones. Okay, instead of having to go back and check all of them, check them right away after, we, after I do them. All right, so I'm done cleaning up all our fish here. I've double washed them and checked them all for bones and scales. So they're all good. I put the small fillets in here and I put the big ones in here. If you guys are frying the big ones and the small ones together, it's really important you pay attention to make sure you're not overcooking the small ones. It's really easy to do. So that's why I have them sorted right now. Sometimes when you don't catch that many, uh, you might not be able to do that. But for me, I have, again, big ones here, small ones here, and now that way I can make sure they're all cooked evenly. So the next step, Cass has an awesome tartar sauce recipe that she'll show you guys. So stay tuned for that. And then we're gonna coat these fish up and get them in the fryer. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to make my tartar sauce. So it's got dill pickles, mayo, dill, lemon, shallot or onion. Today I have onion, pepper, salt, and then sugar optional. I don't usually add sugar because I don't like my tartar sauce sweet. However, tartar sauce does usually have sugar in it. And we'll put the recipe down in the description below. I'm not really following my usual measurements tonight just because I'm making it for more people than I normally would. So it's gonna be a pretty big bowl of it. I'm gonna chop up a whole bunch of pickles. Now I'm adding onion. <laughs> Again, we'll have the recipe down below. I'm kind of just eyeballing this right now. taste, see if it needs anything. Perfect. All right, so we have our oil heating up right now. One of the main things to cook the perfect perch is getting your oil nice and hot. So you want your oil to be 375, um, something around there. You don't want it hotter than that. You definitely don't want it colder than that. And that way you get those perfect crispy fillets without actually overcooking your fish. So I'm gonna wait for this to heat up. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna start battering up my fish. Okay, so we're just using regular old fish crisp today, but you can use your, your favorite uh, fish batter or make, make your own even. This thing up. So another thing we're gonna add is Old Bay. Okay, if you guys like a little bit of spice, this is awesome. I'm sure a lot of you guys that cook seafood have used Old Bay, but just adding a little bit to our batter and give it some nice flavor. I think I should open the bigger side. <laughs> And I'm just gonna. So another thing with perch, because they're so small and delicate, using just this dried batter I find is way better. I don't really like using the a liquid like beer batter because it just it fluffs up too much in my opinion. I like it nice and crispy and nice and thin as well. Okay, we're at 375 now. Now we're gonna add the fish. So when you guys are adding the fish, it's really important that you don't just drop it in. I like to give it a quick one, two across. Stuck to the bottom. I don't know if you In a couple seconds here, I'm going to take this off. Actually, I'm going to take it off right now and then check the status of my fish here. So right away guys, look how fast these guys are cooking up. Especially the first one. Yeah. 
So you kind of want to monitor that. But it looks like these ones over here already done. So these ones are already done. Nice and crispy. These ones are looking pretty good, honestly. All right, so we're all done. Moment of truth, not overcooked. Uh-uh. Good, how's the tartar sauce? It's so good. I don't know how to put them out. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. We had an amazing day on the lake, and it was great to share our catch with family. We have lots more adventures to come, so hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. But for now, this is the video YouTube thinks you should watch next.